What are you doing? <laughs> I'm feeling a so good. <laughs> So today, we're doing another little baking, cooking episode, and Lauren's getting a little bit of a head start here. We're going to be making chicken stuffed shells. Now, it may sound weird, but you'll see. It's good stuff, and as I said, Lauren is starting to debone the chicken. We just bought a rotisserie chicken that we are going to debone, as Lauren is doing, and then uh, we'll get into the rest of it. Lauren. Yes? Do you have anything to say? Um, no. Okay. Here, eat some chicken. It's cold chicken. Yeah, I know. It's really cold chicken. <laughs> it's been it in the fridge since last night. It doesn't taste that great, cold. No, it doesn't. So you fed it to me. Yeah. Oh, the inside's still juicy. Well, the juicy's good, though. Oh, well, yeah, it's going to get mixed with a bunch of other stuff. Yeah. The nice thing about the chicken stuffed shells is we'll have a lot of leftovers. Yeah, because, you know, there's nothing at the grocery store right yeah. now. Yeah, good luck shopping right now. We're lucky that we found a rotisserie chicken. Yeah. And then some of the things we needed were just what was left on the shelf. Good thing I needed a big jar of soup. We had to get, luckily they still had the big jars, cream and chicken soup. And jumbo shells was about the only noodles that they had left. And they still had mayonnaise and stuffing. But that's, uh, that's pretty much it. And some water. Right it's, now, Lauren's easy, tearing it apart. And it's tasty. Easy, tasty, lots of leftovers. Really good, heated up. Yeah. Highly recommend. Um, you can use any kind of chicken. I just don't like cooking chicken, so I cheat. It's fine. We take the easy way out. You do, you friends. Yeah, you could cook your own chicken. We just buy the rotisserie chicken and just tear it apart. Lauren would rather tear it apart than cook one. I already washed my hands too, so don't yell at me for that. Yeah, wash your hands. Stay 20, home and wash your hands. 20 seconds. Hot, soapy water. Didn't know you were going to be getting tips in this video like that, did you? <laughs> Look at all that chicken. We're going to use all of it. And we'll catch up as soon as the chicken's done being deboned. We'll be back. So the chicken has been mostly deboned. So the recipe calls for two cups of chicken. Lauren said this is four cups here. It's because a it's a four cup bowl because two cups is never enough. You always need more. Out, and now we'll be getting out a pot so we can start boiling the jumbo shells. Pot number one. Big old pot. Pot number two. And then for stuffing. The second pot for stuffing. Like Alright, we're going to change pots for the stuffing. Slightly smaller pot. And then while the shells are boiling, which Lauren's going to get together here, we will uh, mix up the stuffing. The filling. The filling that goes into the shells themselves. That's what you're doing, you're stuffing the shells. cups of water and four tablespoons of butter. Oh, the stuffing has its own directions, you don't have to worry about that. Oh. Our little dishwasher. I put them away at a time. Our little dishwasher is just big enough for two people. Yeah, stove top. Not sponsored. Not man. But Stuffing has its own little directions. There's something in my pot! Well, gotta clean out the pot first. 
Like, look at all that chick. Look at it. It's gonna be good stuff. You guys just wait. Lauren just hit the camera with a towel. I don't know who she thinks she is, but. She needs more water. Just right? For boiling. I need butter. Oh, we need the butter. Fetch the butter. There's so much butter. How many? Four? That's what you said was four. I think it's four. Yeah, four. She says it'll do. Oh no. Oh, that's been out. Yeah. We have a uh, missing light bulb. Don't mind us. I thought it was burnt out, it's just missing. Then I need one from that one. Now we wait Look at all that butter. Now we wait for the boil. Bring on the boil. You can see the butter's starting to melt already. Yeah, that's what happens when it gets hot. Listen. Listen. I know how things do whenever they get hot. You know how things do? Yeah, I know how things do. You gotta boil it and then... Mash it and stick it in a stew? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's greasy. Lauren just remembered we also need to preheat the oven. It takes a little Three bit to 50. stuff and all that because it's hot. So. Yeah. Can't stuff too quick because it's going to be hot. Look at that butter melt. Why are you using a knife for that? It's what I had. It doesn't seem very safe. It's fine. Then you got the big old pot over there. That's where the shells are going to go. The jumbo shells. Jumbo. It's, you know, the only thing left on the, on the Wombo. shelf. Wombo. Wombology. Say hi to the people, Gracie. We're back. We got some boiling going. Hope you enjoyed that brief message from Gracie. We add this stuff in. There's a lot of things in here that I normally don't eat. But you put them all together and it's pretty good. To stir and remove from heat. Stir and remove from heat. Mm. We removed it from heat. Huh. It's a lot liquidier than I usually There it goes. It's just gotta dry it a little I bit. I know, it's just it does usually I don't know, I've never made stuffing. Not one of the, it's one of those things I usually don't eat. I have eaten stuffing more recently though. I actually did eat a little bit around Thanksgiving. I usually don't. Lauren just threw stuffing all over the stove. It's fine. It says, you put it back on the heat? Yeah, it says cover and then in five minutes remove from heat. Oh. I just got it. Yeah, it's the cover. Find the right lid. lid. Everybody needs the right size lid. That works. Covered. Garbage. Garbage. Now it's time for the shells. The shells. Hopefully they're not too broken. Yeah. We didn't have many boxes to pick from. Well, yeah, the guy who was there right before us took two. He's like, I usually eat shells, but I guess I do today. He said he normally doesn't get jumbo shells, but that was pretty much all that was left. They all look pretty good. Yeah, they seem pretty solid. Sometimes they break. A couple little cracks, but. Yeah. They can still be stuffed. How many do you put in there? All of them? It depends. I it don't says, remember. Like, I usually 
usually end up, because I use more chicken, I usually end up making more stuffing. Oh. oh. Um, or just like more filling. Yeah. So, the ones on the bottom are usually broken though, and like a lot of them will break in cooking, so I usually put all of them in. But you don't want to just dump them and break them. Exactly. You got to be very gentle. They could be brittle. That's pretty good. They give you directions for easy stiff top mac and cheese. Yeah. But that's Giant not what we're making. Shells, though. It's weird. <laughs> yeah. That's not what we're making. Yeah. We're gonna use the stuffing and those shells and this chicken and, and these other things: mayonnaise and cream of chicken soup. Okay. It is good. It hasn't been five minutes, but it's okay. You said five minutes. It's fine. It's been two. Yeah, but see though, it's a lot better now than it was. Lauren makes up her own directions. And she just stuck the spoon in the box to All not right. make a mess now on the counter. Now we're going to combine the filling. Alright, get out the big bowl. Yeah. Well, I'm going to need this bowl for the soup. Other balls inside of it. Give it a quick little whoosh. Yeah? Yeah. A whoosh. 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 Okay. I'm gonna let this cool down for a little bit because it's hot on the fingers. Yeah, we will be handling this while Lauren will to stuff the shelves. Yeah, we. <laughs> All I've done is I salted that water to help it boil quicker. The rest has been Lauren. Garbage. And I delivered to the garbage. One cup mayonnaise. Yes. Two cup chicken, but we have like four. Yeah, it's fine. One can of water, half a box of stuffing shells. Yeah. So we use the whole box of shells. It's fine. One box of stuffing, two cans of cream of chicken, which we got. It's all going to come together. Mayonnaise, another thing I usually don't eat. But you mix it all together, trust me. I'm a very picky eater, and trust me, this is good. Oh, so, right on the counter. Lauren made a mess. She's just globbing it all over the place. Put a little bit extra in, because you got a little bit extra of everything else. That's still not really a little bit extra. It's about I'm not done cup. yet. Oh. oh, okay. You Wait. said put a little extra. I thought that was it. It's foreshadowing. Oh. I misread the foreshadowing. <laughs> Why'd you say ew? Because of your sound. <laughs> My sound? Blah. Blah. See what she puts up with? See what I put up with? Messes. Oh, and there's the oven. <clears throat> the oven's preheated. 350. Yeah. Yeah. That's hot. Look at it. I think those couple of noodles need to poke down in. There we go. Now they'll get cooked. Look at all that steam. I don't know if yeah, you guys can see it. Coming off of those noodles. Oh, there goes the chicken. Look at all that chicken. Look at all them chickens. Yeah. I don't know what that's from. Vine. Huh? Vine. I didn't watch much Vine, so I probably just heard it somewhere else. Boy. I was not much of a Viner. Boy. Is that the proper term? It's dead now, so. We got TikTok. Yeah. Lauren still wants to teach me TikTok dances. I'm not sure I'm about it. Okay. I'm not much of a dancer. Okay, here's our stuffing. I gotta wait for the shells. I gotta wait for these. Mess. Clean up the mess like that. Look at that mess. I'm sorry. Look what you did. And another 
ashamed. She's not ashamed of her mess. She owns up to it. Hold on. Hey, why are you copying me? I said it first. No, we said it at the same time, therefore you copied me. Can't open it. Oh yeah, we need to open that. Where's your, there's your can opener. And again, I don't help, I just watch. I'm a strong, independent woman. So she says. Except for when I need things off the top shelf. She's also short, so she can't reach the top shelf, and sometimes there's bugs in the house. Not like bad bugs, just like general bugs you would find in a house, like spiders. Boop. And Gracie doesn't always get the bugs, so then I have to step them. We try to have Gracie get the bugs. Lauren yells at me because then Gracie will eat them. Yeah. Gracie likes bugs. They're full of protein. Just like this chicken. Yeah, she's starting with the other side of the spoon. I'm the one who does the dishes, so it's gonna save me dishes later. What are you doing? <laughs> I feel like a small gum. You got caught. Would you like a bite? No, I'm gonna wait till it's done. <laughs> we use this pan because it has a lid. Use the one that has a lid so we can easily. I don't know if this is big enough. I feel like this isn't the one I usually use. No, I usually buy one of those disposable pans. I've never purchased a disposable oh. pan. Thank you very much. That's what my grandma usually buys is the disposable pan. Yeah, and then she just leaves them at our house. Yeah. yeah. I think you did two pans once before. Okay. Two pans! That's how many we're making. We're going to make sure we have leftovers. We'll be eating this for a couple of days. Oh yeah, easy. There's nothing wrong with that because it's so good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cream o chicken! Maybe. Oh. Oh. She complains about my sound. Did you hear the sound? I don't know if you guys heard the sound that can made or not. It was like a bulk. Yeah, kind of like that. Man, I'm great at sounds. Add a little bit of water. Help rinse out the can a little bit. Get some more of the soup out. I'm just in the way, spinning around. And she threatens me with utensils. In this case, a fork. I don't know how much a fork could really do, but... I mean, it depends how much force you have behind it. That's true. I hear you boiling shells. Don't worry. I hear you. Gracie! Gracie, say hi! Gracie! You gonna play with the tripod? Yeah. Hey Gracie, you want to say hi to everybody? Yeah. <laughs> Learns mixing up the soup. Getting very close to the brim of the bowl. Is it ready? Yeah. It's ready to go. So I just a little bit in here. A little bit in there. A little bit in here. A little bit in there. Gonna drip the bowl. A little bit of that. Looks like a pancake. Yes. It's not gonna be 
to make a very good pancake. How would a cream of chicken soup pancake taste? Not good. Would it even make a pancake? Um, or would it just boil? If you cooked it long enough, maybe. We may have to experiment in the future. Mm. <laughs> you don't want to make a cream of chicken pancake? No. Make a nice little bed for our shells. It's a little chicken guy in there. A little chicken guy? That doesn't look like a guy. Holy fish paste. It's a guy. How many Spongebob references can we make in one video? A lot, I'm sure. How many Spongebob references do we make on a daily basis? How many Spongebob references do people make on a daily basis? A lot. Spongebob is life, clearly. These shells are looking pretty good. They're going to be nice and stuffable. Oh yeah. Alright, time to... They're off. Not like a race, but like we turned the burner off. See the wizard? That's not even a SpongeBob reference. That's a Wizard of Oz reference. Look at that steam. Lauren, can you see us? Mm -hmm. Okay. See, that shell is gone. That one broke, it got stuck. He's a lost shell. I'm gonna put that there. Poor shell. Never even got a chance to live its life. Watch out. Oh no! Should be fine. Just stick your hand in there. It's well, fine. I was just I didn't want this to melt. Oh, the but... strainer. It should be fine. I see. Okay. Now these need to cool down for a little bit so I can actually touch them. Alright. While they cool down, we'll be right back. Yeah. Ready. We're back. The shells are cooled. Lauren's ready to do some stuffing. They're a little sticky. And this is the fun part. I don't stuff them too much because then you can make more. You're all up in my way. I was trying to make sure they could see you stuff them. You need a better spoon than this. They gotta see you doing all that stuff. I look at it. We have one pan full. Look how good they look. That's not even the best part. Because we still have all of this. And there's still more noodles. I had a couple casualties. Yeah, a couple casualties so far. But Lauren's getting the other pan full. Look how much stuffing there still is. We're gonna be eating for days. I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. We haven't Good. had these in a while. It has been a while. We definitely haven't had them since we moved in here. We've been in here a couple months now. We haven't had them since we've been here. So this is gonna be good stuff and we're gonna enjoy ourselves and you guys can make these yourself. But Lauren peels a couple of noodles apart. You gotta be careful. Don't rip them. Sometimes you just gotta add a little extra stuffing. You stuffed all the noodles you had, you had some left over, you just add a little extra. And they've been stuffed. Now we add the cream of chicken soup on top. That's what really gives it that nice finishing touch. Look at it. She's going to spread it out a little bit. Yeah. They're making not great sounds, but you know, it's soup. What do you expect?
This is the good stuff. And now you cover them. The other roll's almost out, so. Might as well start fresh. They're ready. Time to go in the oven. One in the oven. Two in the oven. And now they bake for 40 to 50 minutes. And I'm going to put it in for half and then I'll swap them halfway through. You heard it. We're going to swap them halfway through. So, we'll be back in 19 minutes. This is what I deal with. But it's time for the switch. See how Lauren's going to do this. Set one on the stove. Oh, she messed up the cover. She messed up the cover. It's okay, as long as it's covered. She messed up the cover. A little bit longer this time. Mm -hmm. 24 minutes, we'll be back. And then we'll have some chicken stuffed shells, but they'll be too hot to eat yet. Let's remove it. Let's see how they look. One. They're bubbling. I hear it bubbling. Two. Oven. Safety. Turn the oven off. Don't forget. Look, I steam coming out. There they are. Still bubbling a little bit. This one's bubbling a lot because it's swamp in. It's fogging up the camera a little bit. <laughs> Yum. I'm ready to eat, but they're going to be really hot. Yeah, you can't eat them yet. You got to let them cool. Cool. That's why they're still bubbling. I'm ready to eat, but man, I don't want to wait. Well, you gotta. Yeah, in the meantime. <laughs> she can see. It should be cold now, let's see. How many you want, like four? Yeah, that's good. That's a good start. They are pretty filling. Yeah. It's a lot of carbs. What have you been saying the last couple days? There's no rules in a national pandemic. <laughs> no Diets don't exist during national emergencies. You heard her. So eat up. They still look kind of hot. I see steam coming off of yours. You got a blow on it. There you got it. There you got it. Let's. All right, I'm gonna go eat. Let's go eat. <laughs> you guys got it. There's chicken stuffed shells. We got shells for days. Yeah, as you can see, we'll be eating for a while. But. It's one, two, <laughs> three. Probably about three days. Yeah, so about what we figured. But that's gonna do it for us, guys. The recipe will be down in the description below. Be sure to let us know if you want more cooking videos, because I think Lauren enjoys it. <laughs> She can't figure out where I'm looking. Hot. That one was hot. <laughs> I'm low on that one. But yeah, as you can tell, Lauren's enjoying the cooking videos. So, let us know what else we should make. I'm a picky eater, so we'll see if we can find stuff right now anyway. We'll do a video of me just making you food and trying. <laughs> I almost died because of the dishwasher. It almost killed me. Lauren's going to make me try foods. Yeah. She would enjoy that too much. 
because I'm a picky eater, and we'll see how it goes. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Be sure to like and subscribe, and yeah, enjoy.